Um, containment and treatment, containment and treatment. Those are really important because a lot of the things that we get or perceive to get from um, uh, on homelessness issues actually involve mental illness and uh, drug addiction or, or alcohol addiction, right? So it's illness, mental illness and addiction. And what the current strategy has been at least with the province and including Minister Eby when he was the, a minister and, and housing minister was dealing with it as a housing issue and not dealing with it with the other aspects which are the root causes of housing. I mean, you know, I don't want to be too crass, but when you're dealing with front level enforcement as I've been doing and we have folks who are in uh, in that bad situation uh, where they're, say, living in a tent city and then they're going to use resources at you know, for instance, a, a mall nearby. I mean, we actually had evidence where they go to use the washrooms and instead of even pulling the, the seat up on the toilet seat, they don't. They just leave the full seat down and they're going to the washroom like that. That was in a court affidavit that we used. Exactly. Now, you can't tell me that that person doesn't have some deep problem that's that that they should be out on the streets. And, and you know, I'm not saying we have to Put them into institutions like we saw in one flew over the cuckoo's nest or something but we do need to have some level of containment that's that's helpful to them getting off either their 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 addiction or giving them some treatment perhaps even with some some other uh, uh, medical assistance on that to deal with their 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 illness but if you're putting these people on the streets i mean these folks are are are, are fighting with law enforcement people who wear uniforms People like the police who have badges and guns. I mean, you probably recall the police officer in Burnaby that was killed by a, uh, a homeless person in a tent not too long ago. I mean, if they're willing to take out a police officer, how, how is the public going to be safe? 